Note, make sure you are connected to the same network that your DVR will be connecting to. So, you have purchased a QC DVR and now would like to set up remote monitoring. Here are the easy steps for remote monitoring setup via your two-wire modem. Step 1. Plug in the power to the DVR and establish a video connection from the DVR to the display of your choice. Step 2. On your DVR, go to the main menu, Setting, then Network. If the DHCP box has not been selected, please click on it. Then click on Save. Step 3. You will return to the Settings menu. Please select on Network again. There you will find the DVR's IP address and gateway. Write them down for the next step. Step 4. Now with the information you have written down, go to your computer and open up your internet browser. On the address bar, type in the gateway address that you had written down, then push enter. This will bring up your two-wire UVerse modem admin screen. Click on settings, then firewall, then applications pinhole and DMZ. Step 5. Now you will need to find and choose your DVR's network device. Now scroll down, click on user defined, and click on add a new user defined application. Step 6. Here you will need to create a name for your application. Select your protocol as TCP, input your port 80 in the from and to boxes, type in 86400 for your protocol timeout and 80 again in the host port. Then click and add to the list. Note, at this time you will need to log in to your two-wire modem with your two-wire modem password. Step 7. Once confirmation is successful, please repeat and input 37777 for the ports and click add to the list. Once you have done this, you will need to click on back. Note, you may need to choose your device again, then scroll down and click on user defined. Step 8. At this time, you will need to select the application you have created, then click on add and click save. Step 9. Now that the router and DVR are connected, we must check to see if ports are working. Open your internet browser on your computer, type in the URL canyouseeme.org. You will be checking for ports 80 and 37777. These are important for remote monitoring. Type in 80 in the port number field and click check. Now scroll down and it should state success. I can see with port number and IP address. Step 10. Now we have checked for port 80. Repeat the same steps for port 37777 that you did for port 80. Step 11. Note, make sure you are connected to the same network that your DVR will be connecting to. You will now need to find the DNS server address. Click Start, click All Programs, then Accessories. Now open the, the command prompt application. Type in ipconfig backslash all and press Enter. Look for the section of the command that returns that says DNS servers. The IP address next to it is your DNS router address. Now it will display your DNS server information. Please copy it down. Step 12. Now on your DVR, go to the main menu screen, select setting, then network. Unselect DHCP. 
Enter the DNS server information you had copied down. Click check on DHCP. Step 13. Note, this has to be done from a PC on the same network as the DVR. Go to myqc.com and register for a remote QC account. Please enter your email address. Enter a password of your choice. Please re-enter the password of your choice in the password confirm box. Please enter your first name. Now please enter your last name. Please select a security question of your choice. Now choose the answer for the security question of your choice. Now confirm the verification code in the box below it. Click submit and it will take you to the domain creation page. Please enter a domain name of your choice. Then press Request Domain, and it will let you know if the domain is available. Keep repeating this process until you reach a name that is available. You have now completed registration for your QC Remote Viewing DDNS site. Now in the My Domains page, it will list all the domains registered under your account, as well as the status. All the information from MyQC.com Please save in a separate piece of paper as you will need to input it in your DVR later on. Step 14. On the DVR, go to the main menu screen and locate the DDNS setup and input all the MyQC DDNS account information such as the username, password, and domain name. Now save it and exit the screen. Step 15. To connect remotely over the internet, open your web browser and enter the domain name in the address bar that you had registered at myqc.com. Then type in your username and password and select log on. Congratulations, you have finished remote viewing setup for your QC QC series DVR. If you receive error at any point during this video, please open your internet browser and go to qc.com backslash support. Select the ask a question tab and choose how you wish to communicate and a QC representative would be happy to assist you. Thank you for watching.